All right, so there's a few options when you face a threat and have potential cover that you can get to. One is you can just stand and fight. You can draw and shoot. The second is that you can step offline and engage the threat. The third is that you can run to cover and then shoot. Fourth is that you can shoot on the move. And fifth is that you can get ready to shoot so that the instant you get behind cover, you can come out and engage the threat. Uh, one of the big things is we want to move fast enough that it matters and we want to be able to put hits on target. We want to minimize our exposure and get behind cover as quickly as possible. So let's take a look at these and see how they compare. I'm going to start with just drawing and shooting. So that was 0.86 seconds. And of course I was behind cover, or I was out of cover the entire time. Next, I'm going to draw and step offline so that if he's shooting where I was, hopefully he'll miss. That was 0.96. Next, what I'm gonna do is run to cover and then draw and lean out and shoot the target. That was 1.84 seconds, but I ended up behind cover. Next, what I'm gonna do is shoot on the way to cover. So that was first shot in 1.04 seconds and three shots in 1.39. So what you can see is, uh, yes, it's awesome to get to cover really quickly, but more importantly, it's how much can you combine without your performance dropping off? Are you able to put hits on target while moving full speed to cover without keeping yourself out of cover any longer than necessary. And the fact is, if you train correctly, you can. But uh, this, is, uh, this is a very unexplored area of shooting. And the traditional method of getting better is to just grind out reps. And the fact is, it doesn't work. Uh, it takes three key elements besides core shooting skills in order to shoot quickly and accurately on the move. And that's combat vision, which is dynamic vision, because how you see is differently when you're moving than when you're stationary. The second is balance. Balance is incredibly valuable. Your brain's core function is to protect itself and it does not want to hit the ground. The more balance challenges your brain has, the less energy it's going to devote to visual processing. And what happens is when you start moving or tracking a moving target and getting movement of the body and balance and being on one leg, it raises the threat level in the brain. It increases the cognitive load. And what that means is you've got less bandwidth for aiming. You've got less bandwidth for proprioception, for knowing where your gun is in space, for using the sights. And you end up with you end up with jumpy vision, and it, it looks like uh, you're, uh, you need to lead the target, but really what's happening is it's slow visual processing. So we can work on that, uh, that combination of vision, vision and balance, and then when you combine that with motion, with efficient movement of the body, uh, it's absolutely incredible what you can accomplish, and your performance doesn't drop as much as most people think it will 
when you add fast, hard, dynamic movement to fundamental, static, flat-footed shooting. So for more information on this, click on the link below.